Hi guys, welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel. It is Sweetest Dolls, and today we are doing a um, review of the new G3 Monster High Frankie Stein doll. So I already recorded this video once, my phone crashed, so we don't have the unboxing portion. Obviously, it's not here. Um, so <laughs> I'm just going to be doing overview of everything they come with, my opinions, comparisons between different Mattel body molds that they're more similar to now, original Monster High body molds, and the Creep Production Frankie that came out a few months ago, or more like half a year ago at this point, which is crazy to say. And yeah, so I'm excited. We're just gonna get right into this because again, this is my second time recording. And um, yeah, I'll probably touch more on how I feel. I also, um, if you don't know, I paid a scalper price for this. I paid around almost 70 bucks for this, which is a lot, but I wanted to get it to review for you guys. And I wanted to just get my first feel for these dolls because a um independent um owner of a toy store got a bunch of their um monster high shipments and possibly earlier just got them in and their shelf date is october 1st but they decided to sell them or a friend of theirs allegedly i don't know if any of this is true obviously and i don't want to get into anything but allegedly they um gave it to their friends so that their friend could sell on their ebay and Obviously, that's where scalper prices come in because these are dolls that are not released, obviously, yet. So, obviously, people are going to take advantage of that. But, yeah. So, let's just get right into this. Um, and, yeah. So, the front of the box, again, very bare bones because I took everything out. But, just going over what it would be, there is a rainbow background with a little black um, cutout thing here. We have a bunch of cute little, um, like, things that relate to Frankie that are also seen on the side. As you can tell um and then on the front of the box right here would be where um the stylized name for each of them are and then the art so obviously frankie's in the middle of watsi um dracula is here and then laguna is right there where's laguna where was laguna no pictures of her of service besides the fact that she's on the um coffin bean set and then on the top like about right here or something would be the monster high logo just on this plain black thing but it, you can um display it like a little name tag which is cool um and yeah we have watsi's little thing here that shows that they are right there frankie would be in the middle the box reminds me a lot of like i get kind of the boo york boxes i don't really remember how they looked in stores because again that was a really long time ago and i've never owned one but it's just like very like geometric and stuff not my favorite box design but what can you do so then the back of the box has Frankie's entire art, um, stylized name, Watsi. All the ghouls are, we have Cleo, Dracula, Claudine, and Laguna. And then we have the um, little introduction to them in a bunch of different languages. So I'm gonna read that. Frankie's monster type is Voltageous Franken Monster. Their monster must-haves are Icoffin and Screecha. Screecha is pizza. And monster pet is Watsi. Um, and obviously we have that in a bunch of different languages because this is the international box. Um, we have the Monster High website, which is coming back, which is really exciting. Mattel's thing here. And then the barcode on the bottom. Actually, I might as well just take this out of the blister so it's not as reflective. And that's kind of it. The entire box, you just cut off the, um, blister part. It comes off like that. And then you just have the cardboard part. Um, here is the barcode for everybody that needs it. Um, I know it's kind of been posted everywhere but just in case you're viewing this you're not viewing other videos there you go so we're gonna go over frankie's accessories and stuff like that first and then we'll go on to doll themselves um and yeah so first thing is the biggest accessory is their bag really cute it's made of like a jelly clear um blue plastic um has this little um stitch lightning bolt design with a skullhead on the top has this cute little keychain on the side that has a lightning bulb a um a light bulb not a lightning bulb a light bulb a lightning bolt and then something on the bottom which i i think it's just like stitch marks i can't really tell and obviously this isn't going to show it off too well but hey um and then we have just the straps back here it opens at the top quite a good amount and again it's like a stretchy plastic so you can fit stuff in there which is really nice and i really appreciate that next is the polaroid camera which um, it's really cute. I like the mold a lot and I like the painted details. So where the actual camera part would be is a, an eye. We have little teeth down here, little drippy drips up here. It has like textured, like just geometric pattern, 
has this basic little strap and then it has an opening in the front or in the top where you can put their Polaroids. So the first one says Scaris. Again, these might not be very um, clear because my phone doesn't like to focus on things. I'm sorry about that. Nothing I can really do about it. Um, here is the Scaris, which has Claudine, Draki, Draki, <laughs> Draki, Laura, and Frankie. Um, and then the other one is Boo York, which has Cleo and Claudine which is really, really cute. And I like that they do these callbacks to the movies and just places they've been. While it might not, it probably is a direct callback to the Monster High movies, but I also just think it's interesting that they're reintroducing those specific landmarks and stuff like that already. Um, next is the Screecha, which is literally just pizza in a lightning bolt shape. Um, it has little like spider web pizza designs, has some spiders on it and um, pepperoni. So yeah, that's it. And a lot of these accessories also have this little hole on the side that you can put through their fingers so they can hold it and have more playability, which is really cute. So the Screecha is going in the backpack. <laughs> um, and then next is their eye coffin, which is really, really cute. And I like that they're all coming with phones because it's just, it's really cute for display and stuff like that. So the back has a lightning bolt pattern with a heart in the middle that is stitched. It's just a plain blue plastic. Again, it has the little hook thing that you can put their fingers through. And then on the front is just like a bunch of little apps and stuff like that. So you have like the phone, the music, and then some basic stuff like a skeleton and the lightning bolt and stuff like that. Really cute. The printing on those smaller accessories, I will say, is quite blurry. But again, they're very small accessories, so I don't really expect them to be like super clear. Um, but I was going to show Watsi next, but let's show the glasses. These remind me a lot of like budget lines from early Monster High and also just like the swim lines. So... They're just these um, kind of frosted blue plastic with some lightning bolt motifs, as you can tell. Same on the both sides. It's pretty cute. Nothing all too special. But again, I like that they're coming with a lot of accessories because these dolls retail at $24.99, at least in the States, I'm pretty sure, unless prices are going to change. And I will say right away, I think that is an amazing price from playing with them for around 10, 20 minutes. Um... <laughs> Yeah, playing around with them for like 10, 20 minutes. Um, it's just really nice. Again, we'll show everything. I'm gonna be showing their body. I'm gonna show the clothes. I'm gonna show everything. And yeah, it's just really nice that they were able to match, if not better the quality than a lot of later releases besides G1 for pretty much the exact same price. So um, next is Watsi, which is really cute. And I honestly really like this. Although I do prefer Watsit just as like overall stylistically. I do like how crazy <laughs> Watsy looks because again if this is going to be Frankie's like little pet obviously it's going to make up made of made up of a bunch of different things and they also kind of remind me of the Glorati from the books by Lizzie Harrison and I really like that because Lizzie Harrison books are some of my favorite um like Monster High media ever so it's nice that they're gonna have a little callback even if it's not that like noticeable so this is just a comparison between the two obviously very stylistically different but they still do have like a lot of things like Watsi is still primarily a dog. They have these like wings, but they're lightning bolts instead of like proper wings. And they have little stitch marks and stuff like that, which is really cute. I really like the eyes. They remind me a lot of, um, I would say more the G2 style because they're like very big, very bright, but really cute. And one of Watsi's eyes kind of looks like it might be a gear, but I could be wrong. Um, they are made out of like a hollow plastic. Meanwhile, this is made out of like a very solid plastic. Sorry, Watsi, I didn't mean to drop you. I mean, Watsi, already getting their names confused. But Watsi seems to be made up of a dog, a cat, and possibly a rat or some type of serpent with the tail, which is interesting. So next is Frankenstein themselves. Um, these dolls do not come with stands, by the way. I checked every inch of the box. There is no stand in here. So yeah, but next is Frankie sign themselves and <laughs> so right off the bat when I show a close-up of their face it's not going to be perfectly clear and also my Frankie is wonky a little bit so don't comment that I know that leave it alone <laughs> but they're absolutely gorgeous this is again G3 is probably my favorite stylization facially for these characters I just love it I love specifically with Frankie. I love their eyes and I love the brows. I love these like thicker brows and 
although you might not be able to completely tell, they have the individual hairs, which is something that has never been done with Monster High, besides the um, Concutor, but those were not done nearly to as well as these were. And facially, this Frankie is most similar to the recent um, San Diego Comic-Con Voltageous Frankie that just came out. And I'm appreciative of that because I was going to get that doll solely based on the screening. I don't like the outfit at all. So having this doll be almost a third of the price is really nice. They also have this piercing, which um, I know a lot of people were mad that it was printed on. Let me put this into perspective. Would you rather a printed on piercing or a 3D piercing that maybe is not going to be to scale to the brow and the face as a whole and put two massive holes in Frankie's face? And when you lose that, there's just going to be two holes in Frankie's face. Exactly. So that is my reasoning behind <laughs> preferring this. And I just think it looks really cute. And I like that it actually has like a silver reflectiveness because it doesn't just blend in with the brow, which I think is what a lot of people were scared it was going to, but it, it doesn't. Um, so for the accessories and stuff like that, I'm going to slowly take them off Frankie. Um, this is the Creep Production Frankie stand without the clip, only because the clip kind of is annoying. I will be completely honest. Like Frankie's waist is, um, not, I don't want to say bigger, but it's not as like slender as them. So it's harder to get the sand clips around, but I'm going to take out Frankie's earrings so we can get a look at them. Oh, also, the hair is also ran. There's no polypropylene here. It's also ran. It all feels like the Creep Production Frankie, which is also the original um, hair, style, hair type that they used. Um, so here are Frankie's cute, cute little, cute, 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 cute little earrings. They are these bright, like, green, yellow um, lightning bolts with little um, rivets as the kind of, like, posts, which is really cute. And these earrings, as you kind of saw earlier, go into the ear like that so they face forward which is really nice and i know um, monster i did that a lot so no problems there but really really cute i'm gonna put those in frankie's backpack so i don't lose them see this is so nice keeps all your little accessories so you don't lose them um and then next is the hair so the hair itself is a blend between white black and blue so the blue streaks are only on one side here and then pulled back here really love that and then on the other side we have these two cute lightning bolt barrettes, which are a pink and a blue. Sorry, oh my god. <laughs> um, but yeah, so next, I guess I would show her neck. She does have a neck. I know a lot of people were saying that they might not have like shorter necks, but they don't. It's just that Frankie's clothes kind of lift up, so it makes it look like they're kind of constantly shrugging. They have the, um, the stitches, but they don't have the bolts, which is perfectly fine by me, honestly. I kind of like this because it makes it easier to just like dress and play and like you don't have to worry about stuff getting attached I guess but yeah anyways this doll is not trying to replicate the original Frankie so it's a completely different stylation let them be so next is the um like sports jacket or whatever I don't really know is it called a letterman jacket I don't know but it has the monster high logo there with a lightning bolt and some stitches with the skullette and then we have this black with some cute little pink lightning bolts and just a plain sleeve and then we have that same pattern over here we have this like i don't know what to call it but you know that type that comes on jackets <laughs> um we have that all over and then on the back we have a giant pink skullette with the bow really cute not again not the greatest quality piece as you can tell it's not lined but does its job i think it looks really good um it'll be really nice for like mix and match so again don't really care about that type of stuff um Frankie's vest is next which is a completely separate piece which is really nice and I know some people were kind of scared that 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 the um undershirt and the vest were going to be the same so I'm here to say that it is not um again it is just a printed fabric so it's not like real quality materials but I will say it's very cute it is black with um blue pink and white as the main color scheme as you can tell has a bunch of stitches over it and then just those lines that follow onto the back really cute and then um i'm gonna take off their belt and show that next because after that um i'm gonna go down to the shoes and then i'm gonna take off the shoes and then we're gonna look at their body when i take off the rest of the clothes 
and then I'm going to compare them very quickly because I don't want this video to be too long, but I want it to be long enough to where I have like a thorough review and comparison between everything. So Frankie's belt, again, just on a little like clasp back there, it is three layers. It has a chain as the top, has Frankie's name as the middle, and then has another chain with some little charms on it, like a lock that is also looking like a clock that rhymed. <laughs> um, a safety pin and a lightning bolt. Really cool piece. I like that they were getting all these new molds because again, this is something I could see an original ghoul wearing. And I think this would actually look pretty good with the um original creep reduction Frankie. Like I feel like that would be pretty cute. Or, or even not her, just like some other Frankies because again, this is a lot of what Frankie wore. Like this very preppy silver aesthetic, which I love. Um, and then next is the shoes. These dolls also do stand, these dolls do stand pretty well on their own, I will say, but I'm just keeping them on a stand because I don't want to have them falling over 24-7, although they might start doing that because they're not wearing any shoes, which might have been a mistake, but if they fall, they fall. Please, please, Frankie, please, Frankie, I'm just trying to review you. Okay, but I don't move too much <laughs> if I don't bang my desk. Um, So they have these really cute high top, like Converse type style. So they have just, there is a bit of a paint issue on mine on this side, as you can tell. But again, not a big issue. These are mass produced dolls. Realistically, although I did pay kind of a premium price, um, these are going to be retailing for around $25. I think in Canada, they are 40 Although I'm not sure. I can't confirm that or deny that. That is not something I know at the moment. But the shoes are really cute. They're just high con high top converse. The actual base is white with lightning bolts on it with a blue rim before going up to this kind of like purple pink color with some painted on black laces and then this bright green little lightning bolt that kind of ties in with their um earrings and it's the same for both of them really really cute and then next is going to be the skirt well as you can see it fits high-waisted um really really cute i'm gonna put frankie down now because they are gonna rest for a little bit um again it's just printed but i do i love pleated skirts so like having more is amazing it's the same color scheme that we've seen throughout pink blue yellow black white and then throughout the stitching the yellow is actually lightning bolts which is really really cute i love pieces like this I'm, I just, I, their preppy style is kind of what I want my style to be. So seeing a doll that's non-binary, like me, have that style, really cool. Um, and yeah, everything is sewn really well on this, I will say. It is a printed material, as you can tell, but really nice. Um, the next is going to be the top, which we can see on them. And then taking it off, I might need to take the hands off. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the hands off which are pretty easy to come off. They have a very thick peg, but they are easy to come off. Their hands are also very big compared to the original ghouls, which we will, I will be showing. Um, and yeah, oh my God, I love this new body. This is my first time seeing it completely undressed. So really cool. Now I will say this is made more of a like, I wanna say cotton, I don't know. It's made more of a textile material than any of the other pieces, which is really cool. And it has just again, that same color scheme that we've been seeing, blue, pink, and white. It has this really cute, cute colored sh like top and then these puffy sleeves, which I love. I love me a puffy sleeve. Um, and yeah, it's made really well. It's stitched really well. It looks really good. It's like a crop shirt on them. I love it. And then next is their body, which this body is insane for a Playline doll. I will, I will show you why. So obviously I'll just put one hand in. We have the same articulation as usual. We have the wrist, the arm, the elbow, and then we have the thigh and the leg. Also, I will show the prosthetic up close in a second, but we also have this fully posable, like look at the range on that torso joint. This is something we've only seen recently on a, on a Playline doll. The um, Art of Fashion collector Jet Dawson doll from Rainbow High. And that doll was like 60 something at retail. Granted, they're down to like 20 something now, I think permanently. But like, this body is insane. The posability options, like, 
insane. Like, it is so crazy that they were able to get this with the price point. Already one of the best doll bodies ever, in my opinion. Oh, also, I should probably show they have a middle um, part that is thatched quite nice up till the end. And the actual rooting is pretty thick, if I do say so myself. Um, but yeah, I'm just very upset with this body. Comparing it to DC Superhero Girls, um, the size difference is quite noticeable. Obviously, the DC Supergirls, Superhero Girls are a, about a head taller than Frankie, but they have that same chest joint, and they are a lot fuller of a figure, which I think is, I think this might be around the same body, just scaled down a bit, which is really interesting. So that's what that looks like. And then compared to the original Monster High body, again, as we can tell, Frankie is a lot fuller now, which I love. Um, and Frankie even is still taller without their shoes, which is really cool. I really appreciate that. Again, Spectra. This is my um, drop dot dead gorgeous. Is that the name of that line? I don't even know. <laughs> but yeah. So that is the height difference and the body differences between those. And then, oh, I guess com hand comparison. Um, because I guess, yeah, Spectra, I would say, is a similar hand size to Frankie. Like, okay, Frankie, move your hair, please. Like, that is pretty big of a difference. And I like it. I think these dolls look so much better than the original Monster High bodies. I think these dolls are better than the original Monster High. Don't attack me for it, but it's true. <laughs> Um, so, and then I'm just going to compare them skin tone wise to the, um, reproduction Frankie, because that is the last Frankie that we got with the original skin tone. I honestly much prefer the skin tone. Sorry. I just like these dolls so much more. Like, what can I say? Um, and also the faces, I just think look so much better. And also both of these Frankies are wonky, by the way. Which one looks better wonky? Tell me. <laughs> Tell me. It's obviously G3. But anyways, that is what the skin tone looks like. And then... Just to show off the prosthetic, I love that they come with a prosthetic. I think that is so cool and just kind of revolutionary. Although Mattel has done obviously prosthetics on dolls before, so it's not like completely mind boggling for them. Um, but here is what it looks like. Frankie's name is right there with a bunch of little scribbles and stuff like skullettes, hearts, stuff like that. And then the foot itself, really cool, very robotic, very reminds me of Rebecca Steam. And then it has these gears here that go up to the bottom itself. And then on the side, this could either be like a charging port or it could be like an MP3, which is so cute. Like imagine if you had an MP3 attached to you. So cool. Then obviously they have more stitching and stuff like that. And yeah, so I'm not going to completely dress this doll up again because I don't want to waste you guys' time. But um, I will say as I do my final thoughts, I'll dress them. Final thoughts. I'm already in love with Gen 3. I think they're my favorite out of all the Monster High. The quality's there. The stylization is there. The bodies are there. The hair is there. Besides Claudine and Cleo, <laughs> they kind of got gypped. But I just think that these dolls are absolutely marvelous, especially for the price point they're going to be retailing at. Monster High, again, was such a revolutionary doll brand. And the fact that they're coming back full force like this is kind of crazy, especially with how pricing's changed, like times have changed, like... It's not easy to come back, and although we don't know the, how how Mattel decides pricing and stuff like that, it is very impressive that they were able to bring back Monster High as a brand, and not only increase the quality, but give us already so many different body types, give us heights, give us representation like Frankie, just, just give us all these things we really haven't seen in the doll industry before, again, after Monster High's been gone for so long. And it's just, it's mind boggling. Well, would I recommend this doll for the $24.99, $25.99 price point? Absolutely, yes, no doubt. I'm already planning on getting quite a few more of Frankie specifically because me and my non-binary ghouls have to stick together. And just the representation that Frankie themselves brings to the Monster High brand right now is absolutely insane. I, I'm, I'm just so happy, like beyond words at this point. And I don't want to go on for too much longer out of fear that my phone's going to crash. And also just because I don't want to waste you guys' time. But 
yeah, I'm just very happy with this doll. I highly recommend them. I can't wait for them to hit stores. I can't wait to see them succeed. Everybody needs to buy these dolls, specifically Frankie. We need more Frankie dolls. We need more canonically non-binary ghouls. We need more non-binary um, canonic dolls in the market in general. We need to see dolls like this succeed so that we can get representation like this. Especially, and also the prosthetic leg. Like, we need more of that. We need more of prosthetics on dolls. Because we don't see that. We only see that on fashionistas, really, with Mattel. And those dolls honestly suck <laughs> for the price. Like, for the price point, not much. But quality-wise, they suck. So we just need to see a doll like this succeed so that we can get more of it. Um, that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'm probably going to do a poll after this video goes up on my Instagram or something like that so I can respond to your questions in another video so I can have a video for that. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so excited for this new generation of Monster High and I can't wait for more people to get into them. So I'm all charged up. Can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye.